Hello guys, uh, Karthik here and we are getting our first ride of this. Yeah, it's a Mahindra, it's a scooter and yeah, very often I have to apologize almost, you know, when I'm telling people it's a scooter test, but I have to admit, I love scooters. Scooters are cool. And this is the Gusto 125. We're at the launch ride here in uh, the city of Lavasa. And uh, well, the commercial launch is going to be later, closer to the Auto Expo. We're getting to sample the Gusto for now and see what it's like. So basically, it's the same Gusto that we've seen before. Uh, it was launched about a year back. So it's uh, familiar in terms of design, the way it looks. But uh, Mahindra have refreshed it along uh, with this uh, engine update. It's got new graphics, so it looks a lot more trendy. I think it really uh, is bringing out uh, a new flavor to the Gusto. I like the way it looks strong, uh, dynamic. That aside, uh, the big talking point, of course, is the engine. This 125cc engine uh, now makes more power, it has more torque. Uh, but at the same time, Mahindra worked hard uh, to keep the fuel efficiency uh, as close as possible to the 110. And before we get into the Gusto 125, I want to talk a little bit about the Gusto 110, which was launched about a year back, um, and refresh your memories with what I thought about the scooter then. Well, to start off with, uh, the Gusto 110 was uh, disappointing on a couple of fronts, the engine being one. It just didn't have the responsiveness that you expected from it. Once it got going, it was just like it was revving up and that's it, pulling, pulling, pulling. So it really wasn't particularly city friendly in that sense. And the other aspect where it lacked, uh, again, crucially was on the suspension front. So it just felt too firm, too stiff over bumps. Uh, and that, that can be quite frustrating, especially because you're using a scooter to commute in the city and our roads aren't great, right? Well, coming to the Gusto 125, Mahindra has done much to reduce friction, basically improve efficiency uh, and hence keep performance high uh, and yet keep the fuel efficiency as close to the 110 as possible. One thing on the on the scooter you can see right away is that it's really, really smooth. Something we experienced even on the older Gusto, right? Um, along with that, what you're getting is more performance, clearly. Uh, you wind the gas on and you can see that it steps forward smartly. It still has a hint of that dullness of throttle response, but on the whole, it's really quite nice. And uh, along with that, what you're also getting is better suspension. This thing is just soaking up bumps much better than uh, what we remember on the uh, Gusto 110 so that's again a big thumbs up from our side small niggles on the Gusto uh, mirror adjustment feels a bit awkward you can't tilt it back like that uh, and the other thing is the front brake uh, you really have to grab a fistful to slow the scooter down uh, with the front brake you have to rely a lot on the rear brake in that sense and with this engine update, Mahindra has also taken the opportunity of giving it a refresh of sorts. So it's being given uh, four new colors, one which has a pretty cool uh, seat color as well. Other than that, the Gusto 125 has all the features that you saw on the Gusto earlier. So adjustment for seat height, you've got uh, well, this nifty storage bin here. So pretty well backed scooter that way, you know, it has that flip key. Nice little treats for people. So, yeah, it's uh, the Gusto seems to be uh, firing on all cylinders now and uh, while I wouldn't say it's super peppy still, but it is a nice scooter to ride overall and uh, while we don't know prices now, being a Mahindra, we can expect the prices to be pretty competitive. So, from our side, thumbs up.